Grade 6 Math, number 4.4, Multiply Mixed Numbers. As we've been multiplying fractions, we know that we can multiply a numerator by a numerator and a denominator by a denominator to get our multiplied fraction, to get our new product. We also know that we can take a whole number and put it over a 1 to turn it into a fraction. Well, there are several ways to multiply mixed numbers, whole numbers with fractions. We can use a model to multiply 1 and 3 fourths by a half. We can actually draw a model of 1 and 3 fourths and just cut it in half. We know that this is half of the whole one, and it cutting it in half turned these 3 fourths into eighths that we have 3 of. So we can add 1 half plus 3 eighths. We get a common denominator. They can meet at eighths house. 2 times 4 is 8, and 1 times 4 is 8. So we add 4 eighths and 3 eighths and get 7 eighths. We divided the 1 and 3 fourths in half and counted, added, the half parts. That's how we can do it using a model. We can rename the mixed number as an improper fraction. If you remember this, we just multiply the whole number by the denominator and add the numerator. We multiply 1 times 4 is 4, plus 3 is 7, and we get 7 fourths. Now we just multiply that by the half and go straight across, or cancel out if it's possible, but it's not in this one because 7 and 2 don't have common factors, and neither do 1 and 4. So we get 7 eighths. See? Just like we did here, 7 eighths. So we multiplied the whole number by the denominator, and we added the numerator, and we placed it on top of the original denominator to make an improper fraction. If we had 2 and 3 fourths, we'd multiply 2 times 4 and add the 3, and we get 11 fourths and make an improper fraction. Then we can multiply it, or even use it to cancel out with cross-dividing, right? We can rename the whole number by putting it over a 1 and renaming the mixed number as an improper fraction like we just did here. 9 times 2 and a third becomes 9 over 1 times 7 thirds. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7 over the 3. Now we can just cancel out. The 9 and the 3 cancel each other out as a 1 and a 3, and now we can just multiply across. 3 times 7 is 21, and 1 times 1 is 1. 21 over 1 is 21. See? And no, we can't name him George. We can also use the distributive property. If you remember, the distributive property is like the mother bird feeding her babies in the parentheses nest. She feeds one and then feeds the other and takes turns. So if we have 7 times 3 and 2 fifths, we can do 7 times 3 and then 7 times 2 fifths and add them together. 7 times 3 is 21. 7 times 2 fifths, we need to put the 7 over a 1 so we can turn it into a fraction and multiply it. It becomes 14 fifths. 21 plus 14 fifths, we need to reduce the 14 fifths to its lowest terms. It becomes 2 because there's 5 fifths in here and 5 fifths. That would make 10 fifths. And there's a little 4 fifths left over. So that's two whole ones with 4 fifths left over. We add that to the 21, and we have 23 and 4 fifths. And we did that by using the distributive property. So any one of these four ways can help you multiply mixed numbers. The most normal way is the one with George. You can use the distributive property, but this is the most widely used way. You rename the whole number by putting it over a 1, and you rename the mixed number as an improper fraction and just do your work. All right? That's multiplying mixed numbers. I hope this helped you, and I'll see you next video. Keep going. We're getting through this. We can do this. Bye.